Hello my gorgeous viewers, welcome back to Alicia Del Monte in today's video. Brace yourselves for I am about to tell you a very detailed slash brief history of my he's just not that into you. So we'll go back to the very beginning and to where I am now. So um, this is super exciting for me actually because it's going back and reminiscing and learning from such experiences so let's get into it okay first time i thought i fell in love <laughs> okay all about all <laughs> all these experiences are are about well i can't speak oh my god that's how stupid i am <laughs> okay all of these experiences are about how i thought i was in love Seriously, how could you be in love? It's just, they don't, I just, oh my goodness. The thing about me is, okay, when I show a fiction, I do not get a response from my fictions, okay? I don't get any response from my fictions, so if I don't, then he's just not that into me, right? <laughs> I don't I'm not gonna edit this video because I know how I want to remember all of these moments so let's just keep going first time I thought I fell in love was I think I was about six seven years old I was at school and I thought this cute boy was like oh my my world <laughs> like <laughs> I used to like stare at him, you know, from like the corner. <laughs> brief, brief starings. I didn't really like bother him. It was more like, ah, oh, he's so cute. Okay, I have to turn around now. <laughs> until, oh my goodness, until I found out my whole village was my family. So <laughs> that went well. <laughs> as soon as I realized that, I was like, right, erase that. <laughs> he's cute but not for a love interest how silly eh? I didn't I didn't do anything with him I, I just used to like gaze from far <laughs> which I do a lot are we allowed to we are right <laughs> just gaze we don't really touch or do anything just gaze and they're they don't even know we're gazing just that's just how it is we're really good at hiding it <laughs> Okay, the next time I thought I fell in love was, um, gosh, I have to jump pretty far. Um, I, I was 11, I just moved the country, um, this was my first time in Australia, and oh my god, the neighbor I had, and there were two guys, two brothers, okay? Oh, the youngest brother, I think he was 10, I was 11, he told me that he was 10. He's the one I was like, oh, gushing about every time like I saw him. I never really talked to him either, except for his last day at where he was living, he moved. I never really got to tell him that I really liked him, he moved. Um, I think he wanted to email and I was like, what, what's that? <laughs> <laughs> the cutest thing was that oh my goodness once I was going through the park just you know because I want to go to the park through the park just for a walk and here he comes with his brother this was after a while after like three months of you know gushing about him quietly in my room I saw him out at the park and he had these box of chisels that I was just like Oh my god, I love chisels. Back in the days, not anymore. Um, he was like, hi. And I was like, hi. <laughs> I can talk to you now. This was the time I was um, like speechless. I had no English to speak to boys or people or anyone. I was that scared that I used to say I don't speak English so that no one could speak to me. Um, 
and yeah no that was i think one of my um setbacks when i did like him i couldn't speak to him so i just was like no i can't speak to him so what's the point and um yeah the first time i actually did talk to him was like <laughs> and there was no like mm -mm, mm, don't speak to me it was more like oh my gosh um the first thing that came out of my mouth after saying hi was like where did you go it was obvious he had an O'Cole's bag this plastic bag with chisels in it and of course he went there he's like hey you have some and I was like no <laughs> I don't want it in front of you um so that was that was that um after a week or so he moved okay I was gonna tell you the cutest thing he's like can I kiss you? And I was like, oh my, you know, with his cute voice. Oh my God. Oh, and his name was Ben. I think it was Benjamin though. Ben or Benjamin. Anyways, it was just so cute. I used to say Ben just, just because, um, like it translated in Spanish means come here. <laughs> oh my God. Okay. If you spell it with a V, not a B, um, so yeah and i this i could i was like no because <laughs> i was like i was a leafing that was something i didn't do but apparently he wanted to kiss me before he left and and um yeah he said that he was moving to <clears throat> this is what happens what i eat it out is me trying to like get my voice back but i won't do that maybe i'll reach for my water <clears throat> I've got that. <clears throat> okay, so he told me he was moving to Pakenham, somewhere in Australia, and I um yeah never heard from him after that. <clears throat> oh my goodness! I don't want to reach for my water. It'll be annoying. Okay, it's not that annoying, but yeah. Okay, so yeah. Hmm. Oh, that was cute <laughs> and then uh, the okay with the first two that I've just told you he's just not that into me of course the first one he couldn't be into me he was family and the second one oh yeah he was into me but I wasn't ready I think I just was like but I never heard from him again, so maybe he wasn't just that into me. <laughs> He's a kid too, and I didn't know what email was, so... Oh well. Okay, third time. Hmm, when was that? Oh, it was at primary school. Um, it was my last year at primary school. I already had did, did my primary school, but because I was learning English, I had to do my year seven again. Um, <clears throat> and I, yeah, I really, really liked someone in my class again, but, um, he never really talked to me, so he was just not that into me, I guess. Um, what can I share about him? Hmm. Nothing really happened. <laughs> Oh my god, the fun thing. Okay, I can share something. I, years later, <clears throat> okay, two years later, at the time I had, my mom was still with my stepdad. He's no longer, but at the time, I think I asked him to find out this boy's number for me and super clever with computers he is that he did he searched up some numbers and i called a few numbers and finally i think i reached his grandma first and then i reached his number and i didn't know what to say i was like hello um um <laughs> i don't know why i'm calling <laughs> I screamed and hey, I hang up. I didn't, yeah, that, that didn't go anywhere. Clearly, he never took an interest, so he was just not that into me. Um, third, fourth, sorry, 
Uh, we were in Ireland and I went to an all girls school there and which you know no boys there and I'm clearly heterosexual so I couldn't be attracted to any girls even though women are beautiful and I constantly gush about them like flipping through Instagram I'm like wow so beautiful but I'm not attracted to them as you know as someone who I want to be close to or you know you know what I mean um but I did I think kind of fall for someone there who I never saw I think he was a myth like just just unimaginary there were a couple of friends of mine there who used to say oh there's this boy like who stares at you all the time I'm like where is this boy where is he I never see him and um mind you in such a small area that you live in sometimes they are that busy or that hidden that you will never see them even though they're just right there so i never really saw him but the way these girls used to describe him he was a cute irish boy <laughs> um and of course he never really came to meet me or you know approach me so i guess he was just not that into me and maybe these girls were making it up who knows okay and then let's jump to when i was a year nine and we came back to new zealand uh we didn't come back sorry <laughs> it was our first time in new zealand and i really really liked this boy at school and he's super famous now i Tame Noema, I think that's his name. He's super famous on TV now. But I used to like him. But I never really did anything about it. I just drifted through school. <laughs> Every time I see him, I was like, <laughs> you know, having many heart attacks. <laughs> yeah. Um, he never took an interest or even saw me. So clearly, he was just not that into me. And jumping on from that uh, we came to here to Tapanui and again there was a boy at school in my class that I used to like his name was John <laughs> he had a girlfriend of course he was not that into me <laughs> at camp once was was like I think the Punawe camp and everyone was like going around who you like and fine they get they got to me and they were like who do you like and I was like oh god you're asking me who I like <laughs> then I had to like tell them that I liked him and yeah so cute <laughs> so sad he I think he probably is still with that girl I'm not sure. I shouldn't say that girl. She was my friend at school. I'm sorry. I didn't want to, you know. <laughs> and you knew that. <laughs> but you asked me a question and I answered. And then... I didn't really like anyone after that. For a long time. Until I got to university, I think. Yeah. <gasps> Who I fell for there was someone who used to sit beside me after. <laughs> Not after. <laughs> someone who used to sit beside me in class. Just always sat beside me. And I never used to... I never did anything about it. I just used to just smile. Just be like... And you know what happened when I opened my mouth? To tell him that... <laughs> I was crazy about him. <laughs> he never sat beside me again. <laughs> um, yeah. Um, I think he even moved classes, like changed classes, which you can, you 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 can at university because for if you're in in your first year, there are that many students that 
I have the same class in a different day or different time of the day and I think he did that as soon as I opened my mouth never saw him again I mean I saw him like it's you know on <laughs> campus but didn't really do anything about it clearly the reason why he sat beside me was because he just liked someone quiet so that he can actually listen to the lectures and do his work and as soon as someone opens his mouth her mouth <laughs> i'm sorry this girl is too annoying i have to move and i'm sure he did that right <laughs> um okay 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 we, let's move it let's move it after that i didn't really like anyone for a very long time i think it was 2008 that i had a crush on him that guy at university and then let's jump to 2013 and at work <laughs> um, I work at Narana Bulbs it's summer so all most of my summers I used to do that and um, quite typically I fell in love I thought stupid again for a very very cute Dutch guy <laughs> I won't say his name because God, he might be still angry at me <laughs> again as soon as I open my mouth <laughs> he used to come work in front of me okay and maybe it was because I saw him that many times so I was like getting used to his presence and I started liking him I got invited to a party and uh, let's just say it just my fantasies of him asking me to dance or him coming over and asking you know i yeah no it didn't happen <laughs> what did happen though it was so so cute and so sweet i went to get a cup of water with one of the cups that was like on the table where everyone's getting served and well i was gonna wash it and everything he came over behind me, surprisingly, and was like, no, 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 don't use that cup. I can't do the Dutch accent, sorry. No, 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 don't do, don't use that cup. I, he was trying to explain that it's a hundred years old tap or something. Clearly, he was just trying to say that this is a dirty cup. Here, I will give you a clean cup. And so he gave me a clean cup to use at a the goodness of his heart I don't know that was so cute got my drink of water and I don't know my fantasy <laughs> of him asking me to dance with him was cut there and just you know I found out that he's just a really genuine guy and yeah clearly not that into me at all but really really nice to someone who's going to get some water he just wanted to be hygienic <laughs> let's leave that alone let's now jump to two years later uh, no three two thousand no yeah two fifteen thirteen to fifteen I really really like this guy um, for a long time actually it was back at the same time this boy was sitting beside me at class but he went out with my friend one of my friends my good friends for a very long time so I just you know completely put him <laughs> to not not available <laughs> um, and never really thought about him until like later we met up and my friend was heartbroken and was no longer with him and I was wondering this is so weird you're into me now what is this <laughs> um, really genuine guy we used to get dance together actually he was the first boy that I went social dancing with salsa dancing and it's just oh I just I just couldn't I don't know there was something about me feeling 
just weird and awkward about how he used to like my friend first like it was just I couldn't do it it was just he was so sad like he was into me but I, I wasn't like it's just I'm sorry <laughs> it doesn't work right if you find no chemistry between you and the person it's over this is you just just yeah after I told him that I was uncomfortable about that I never heard from him again <laughs> um yeah I feel really sad about that one yeah Okay, now jumping to 2017, two years later, I fell flat on my face for a boy. <laughs> I was like, how old was I? 28, two years ago. And he's this 19 year old, super like, he looks like a man. Like, I mean, he's still youthful. Okay, I don't, youthful, but he was like all big muscles and just gorgeous and just was like into me <laughs> for a little bit and um was like i was like okay i can't do this but let's hang out after i hang out with them once <laughs> again i seem to open my mouth and say the wrong things and yeah, no, I never heard from him again. It's all good. It's all in the past now. And then later, jumping a year after that. Oh, let's just go back to that one. If you don't hear from him for like two, three weeks, clearly not that into you. It's over. Time to move on. Remove yourself from that situation that you could, you know, could have been... um wasting your time on thinking about it wondering where he is why he's not you know contacting you same thing happened a year later two years later one year later two years later just recently i i seem to like fall for someone that takes an interest in me that fast and Hmm. Now this guy, he was absolutely gorgeous again, but after I hang out with him for three times, I think, um, I understand, you know, some people are super career driven, busy. They don't want someone holding them back, you know, especially someone that isn't special to them holding them back, bothering their <laughs> their path to success. I know, I understand that. I just, you know, I just wish some people can communicate saying, I'm sorry, I don't, I, I can't do this anymore, rather than just completely ignoring you. And, <laughs> but it is their life. They can do whatever, you know, um, suits them for their own. Yeah, no, there's, I don't hold grudges. I just feel a little sad because, you know, I am that stupid who falls in love with anyone who takes interest just like that. And just, <laughs> I'm learning, I'm learning. Okay. Slowly. <laughs> oh my gosh. I just, I don't know. Clearly, again, if you don't hear from them again, just not that into me. Yeah. And yeah, that is, that is, that is all of my history of he's just not that into me at the moment. Yeah. It's on a stop. <laughs> Who will I fall in love again with? I don't think it's love. It's just infatuation. Yeah. <laughs> All right, my gorgeous viewers. Hopefully you'll share with me 
to <laughs> your crazy crazy moments of yeah life hmm. you know we should be grateful we should be grateful that we allow ourselves to experience these things our bodies our emotions need to experience these things in order to be human <laughs> it's just that we need to get to a point where getting our heart broken is not that you know it's not black and white it's very like mixed emotions and we just need to know as women we are stronger than we think <laughs> we just need to remove ourselves from such situations fast as soon as we hear or sense alert alert red flags it's just not that into you time to move on girl it won't happen no matter how you wish or how much you wish how much you want it it's just he's just not that into you he won't be he'll never be <laughs> why am i saying that it's just true so true okay hopefully any everyone's enjoying the weather this autumn feels like summer prayers prayers answered <gasps> yes <laughs> okay let's just not <laughs> you can comment if you like about what i said today but yeah that is all for now until you see me next time